Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video in which I create this card for you using some very simple stenciling and die cutting techniques. So to start with I have a piece of smooth white cardstock, I believe it was about 5 by 5 inches square and I popped it on my grip mat and added two strips of washi tape to create a band in the middle and this is where I'm going to do my ink blending and stenciling. To make sure I didn't get any ink where I didn't want it I used some post-it notes or sticky notes and added these on the outside as I say to protect the card from accidental ink blending. Next I took Salvage Patina Distress Oxide and blended that on the exposed area to get a nice even blend across the panel. And then I brought in this stencil and use peacock feathers to add some dark lines over the salvage patina. I chose this stencil because I thought it would fit really nicely in the gap that I had added the salvage patina to. Before removing all the masking, I decided to spatter on some pale gold metallic paints to give the panel a little bit of energy and lots of shimmer and shine. Once that was dry, I removed all the masking and this is the best bit. We all know this is the best bit where you take off the masking and reveal the lovely crisp lines that are left behind. And there you go, a lovely band of bluey green stenciling with some shimmer and shine. So although my stenciling was quite geometric and made from strong lines, I decided I want to soften everything with some flowers. So I took a floral wreath die and cut a wreath from vellum. And then I took a piece of smooth white cardstock and coloured it with the same gold that I used on the blue panel. I did paint it on at first but it was very streaky so I did a bit of smushing as well. And then I cut the floral wreath from that piece and I used the same gold so that it toned in with the spatters on the striped background. To add my wreaths to my card I used tacky glue, I just pressed down the vellum in the tacky glue and stuck that on the right hand side of my card centred over that strip of colour. I did manage to tear both the vellum and the cardstock wreath as I pulled them out of the die but it's fairly easy to uh, disguise that once you stick them down onto your card. I then added the cardstock gold shimmery wreath on top of the vellum but I turned it slightly, rotated the wreath so that there was lots of the vellum bits peeking out and I also placed it strategically so that one of the larger flower clusters on the wreath was covering up a little spot of, uh, I think it must have been purple pigment powder that uh, was lying on my desk and got stuck to the front of the card. So on top of this wreath, I wanted to create a little cluster to add to my focal point so I cut a label out of smooth white cardstock. I added foam tape to the back to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I positioned this over the wreath, over the stripe, offset slightly just to make it pleasing to the eye. 
for the main focal point of the focal point, I decided to cut a leafy frond out of a piece of paper that I coloured with peacock feathers because I didn't want to bring in another colour. I wanted to stick with the same colours that are in the background, but I wanted it to be bold enough to stand out. However, once I cut it, I realised it was a bit flat and one dimensional and didn't really stand out. So I stuck it on my grip mat, kept it in its bit of card that I cut it from just to keep everything still and then brought in some Uncharted Mariner and put a blush of that around the outside just to give a little bit of depth and dimension and to add even more shimmer and shine to my card and again add some variation and depth and dimension to my frondy bit I used some treasure gold gilding wax and use my finger just to brush this over the surface gently to give a little bit of gold shimmer and shine yet again to my leafy frondy thing. I knew that when I was going to stick this on my card, some of the leaves would be supported by the label that I stuck on and some would be flapping around. So the top part, the bit that would be flapping around, I added tiny little bits of foam behind each leaf. And then I just added some glue on the bottom leaves And after that, I was able to stick it down and have it all remain pretty level and unflappy. For my sentiment, I chose a very small stamp that says, enjoy your special day. And I cut this out using a stitch banner die and then stuck this over the frondy leafy bit, making sure to have some leaves sticking out the bottom. And as a finishing touch, I added some gold Nouveau drops and then added some white Nouveau drops. I do think, well, I did think that uh, I maybe put too many on, but when I showed it to my daughter, she said it was just right. <laughs> so you'll have to let me know, have I gone a bit over the top with the Nouveau drops or is it just right? And there you have another card. I do hope you've enjoyed the video today and that maybe it's given you some ideas of things you can do with stencils and dies in your own stash. If it has, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, do subscribe and ring the notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.